Good. Ice cream. All right, all right. Mm. So I like to hear. Oh mm, my God. <laughs> yeah. Great. This is America's Best Restaurants. I'm Danielle DeTomo with the ABR Roadshow. And right now we are in Kingsport, Tennessee. We're at a place called Two Dads. Now this all started as catering and then people loved it so much that the owners decided, hey, let's open up our own restaurant. And here it is, Two Dads. I'm ready to try the food and learn more about this spot today. Let's go inside. Hey, Mandy. Hey, how are you? I'm doing great. How Good. Are you? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you. So, Mandy, I know you have been working here for like nine years. Yes. You're a very familiar face here at Two Dads. I am. Just for me being a first time customer today, mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about this place. Well, it's a great place to eat, great place to visit. The food's wonderful. The service is great as well. Good location been here for a long time so yeah yeah and yeah, they I mean I know they have this spot they have a spot across the street yes, and you the work deli. at that spot I do well. I usually do it work at the daily yes okay yes, but I come in here when they need me gotcha. for sure and as far as so you're a server so that kind of I am thing you do. yes mm -hmm. and what has just what's kept you at two dads for nine that says the, a lot the two dads years. the yeah. two dads they're awesome they're wonderful people they're wonderful to work with they take care of their employees we're all family so and also the employees too we all get together and we just have a great time and we all get along and it's the wonderful place to be. That's always so fun when Absolutely. you can like have be close friends with the people you Absolutely. work with. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I love that. Well, yeah, Mandy, absolutely. thank you for greeting me. Thank you. And listen, we're gonna meet the two dads here soon. Yes. I'm just gonna call they're two they're dads. They're awesome, yes, two <laughs> it's, dads. It's they're really awesome. two dads. It is, it is, yes. We're gonna meet one of their, their son in the kitchen, so we got a lot yes. of good stuff in store for us. We have made our way into the kitchen now. We are joined with Jeremy who works here in the kitchen. Actually, his dad is, the, yes. one of the dads yes. is, um, your, the owner. Yes. And that one, which one? Randy. Randy, okay. Randy's so we're going to meet Randy and Chuck. They're the two dads. Randy is his dad. So you work here with your dad? I do. I do. How's I have, that? It's, it's awesome. I love it. Uh, family business has always been something big to me. Um, ever since I was little, when we first started the business out of our house in Colonial Heights, I just kind of drew interest in it. I mean, I love the food. I uh, love dealing with people. It's it's just all in all, it's awesome. And I want to I want to take over one day uh, whenever they can't do it anymore. Right. I'd like to take over the family business just because, it, like I said, it means something to me personally. And just just the thought of being able to run something so great is awesome. Yeah, so, yeah. I really like that that you actually want to take over. Yes. That's going to be yes. nice for your yes. your dad to know yes. that you're interested. Yeah. yeah, my dad. He's we talk about it all the time. Uh, they corporate me now that I'm older. They actually corporate me a lot in the decisions they make. Um, New product we try, of course. Uh, the other business we own, they, I was in with all that stuff as well. So I appreciate them both for for doing that to me. Uh, Chuck's also great. Chuck's like another dad to me. Uh, raised up, raised up with his kids. It's just, it's been awesome. And I mean, I love both of them. And I can't wait to, like I said, till I can take over one day and keep yeah. it going. The two going. dads right there. Okay, yeah. we love the two dads here at Two Dads. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're awesome. And they're awesome. Jeremy, we have a dish being made for us right now. Yes. What is that dish? Uh, it's the Leroy Bowl. Um, it's, it's got quite a bit of stuff in it. Uh, it's something unique that we, we came up with, um, but it's got the uh, home fries on the bottom and then it comes with a biscuit and gravy and then kind of the Jeremy's bowl on top of that, which is just a scrambled up omelet in a skillet and then we top it off with cheese. So it's it's got all of it in it. There's everything, a lot happening yeah, in, this, crazy in this in dish. It. I mean, I love biscuits and gravy. So when you said that, I mean, it was like, okay, yeah, it's, okay. Now, okay, so who came up with this dish? Uh, I believe it was actually Chuck that came up with it. Um, one of our customers came in and they, they ordered it and we just kind of stuck with it, put it on the menu. Uh, that's also something big here is we like to use customers, some of our regulars, we like to incorporate them as well, just to know that they mean to us. But yeah, it, it's, that's where it originated from and it's really good seller. So this isn't the only like restaurant no, I industry. Mean, I yeah, mean, I'm you're really, you're a busy guy. I am. I and am. are you like, is cooking what interests you in the industry? Yes, okay. I love the thought of being able like, food, the food industry itself is wide open, but cooking itself is like, it means something to me, like I said, uh, growing up, done it with my mom and dad, both grandparents, anybody that was cooking, I always had my nose in there. Uh, but there's so much you can do with food, so much experiment you can do with food. Um, and just every, all the different, the different tastes, just when it hits your palate, it's crazy, crazy. So I love the food industry. Uh, Sonic was kind of just a side gig there for a while. And then uh, I went, I went pretty, pretty high with it. Um, and then, like I said, I'm just, I can't leave my dad. So the two days I have off there, I'm working here as well. 
uh, trying to help them out with it. Just because, like I said, I, lo I love it. I love it. So. That's impressive. On your yeah. off days, you'll come in here. I do. I do. So, I mean, it must be a nice place to work. It is. <laughs> it is. It's it's awesome. It's awesome working with family. I love yeah, it. Yeah. It gets stressful. I'm not going to lie. Uh, we bump heads a lot, but that's just part of not only family, but the work environment as well. That's so. That sounds about right for yeah, everyone. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. normal. Oh my gosh, and speaking of, oh yeah, thanks girl. All right, Great so job, shout out to her. I'm gonna okay. hand it to you. Yes, is it, wait, is it? It's a little warm. If you want okay. me to hold it, I'll hold it. I'll no, hold it. we gonna let him hold it. I'll yeah, hold I was it. like, let's just let you, cause knowing yeah, me, I'd like warm. pick it up and be like, ah! <laughs> yeah, it's a little warm. All right, oh, there's a lot happening in this dish right now. Hey, can you hand me a plate? Okay. Mm. Good. That's good. All right, all right, mm. so I like to hear. Oh mm, my God. <laughs> Wait. Oh man. Yeah. Okay. It's a lot happening in one bite. Wait, let me it? let me. I know I got too big of a bite, so I'm taking it in like little small it's, increments. It's okay, one one more just because it's so good. That's so good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I'm working on this. <laughs> no, you're good. I'm gonna sit this down. Yeah. It's so warm. He's awesome. Shout out. That is very flavorful. Lee, Leroy, Leroy's bowl. Yeah, that's, that's all you need to know. Come get that night now. <laughs> Thanks, Jeremy. We started coming here after my nephew got married because um, two dads catered his wedding, and the food was great. And usually, wedding food is terrible. Um, so we started coming to the restaurant after that. It was about 2015. Um, what keeps us coming back? is the food and the people. Yeah, it's the food, the people. There's no one dish that you could say is better than the other. They're all great. Joining me now is both of the owners of this awesome restaurant. We got Chuck, we got Randy, the two dads here with me. Really glad to be here today. It's been great so far. Yep. Thanks for having us. It's been exciting. Yeah. I'm ready to try more food though. Mm. So we're displaying some good stuff on the table right now. Can you tell me what these dishes are? Let's start with this omelet because I love an omelet. It's a veggie omelet. Mm -hmm. It's got everything in it, spinach, cheese, peppers, onions, mushrooms. You could add a jalapenos if you choose. Ooh, a little spice yes. to it. Spice in your life, baby. Oh, oh mm -hmm. my gosh. Yes. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Spice <laughs> in your life. But this one doesn't have any in it right now, no. does it? Okay. No. So maybe maybe for next time. You can also add Tabasco if you choose. Okay. So you can, but I like that you have this option of like the veggies. That's mm -hmm. really nice. It's making me feel healthy. Healthy? <laughs> <laughs> it's making me feel, I'm getting my veggie intake. There you thing. go. Mm. So who came up with this? Because Mm, those veggies. Mm. We all did, actually. Mm -hmm. We actually want to put stuff in our omelets instead of like most restaurants, just put just a little sprinkle. Mm -hmm. We want to actually mm -hmm. stuff them with veggies and meat and cheese. And mm -hmm. if people choose jalapenos, we'll put jalapenos in them. Mm. Honestly, I'm a fan of veggie omelets now. That's that's good. I don't think I've ever like, you know, I get all the other stuff in my omelets. The normally. Western omelet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I'm like, I'll take that. That there works for me. Yep. And then, we got a burger too. Yep. You got to talk because th this is going to get real interesting. I think we're going to save this one for later, like at the end of the interview. <laughs> because it's going to get messy, I'll tell you all that. But tell me about this thing. It's a bacon barbecue che uh, cheeseburger. We make the barbecue sauce here in the house. We hand pay the burger, third pound. You can get a third pound or a half pound. We put everything on it. You can put jalapenos on it too if you want spice in your life. Does someone like jalapenos? Yes, I do. Yes. Okay. I feel like I'm, I'm starting to see a trend here with the jalapenos. You know, some people can't handle them. <laughs> yes. I think you may be talking about like, <laughs> Okay, so like me and you. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we understand. <laughs> we understand. I'm sorry, Randy. Apologies for that. It's okay. <laughs> but this one, I mean, okay, so this really stands out because of your barbecue sauce. Yeah. So, Everybody loves the barbecue. Like, people love to eat it with french fries and yeah, tater tots. Yeah. All the sidings, they like to eat the barbecue sauce. I actually wanted to sell it, but we haven't decided to do that yet. I want to learn more about how two dads started for the both of you. Like, how did you two dads come together in, in a restaurant? Me and him both actually worked at Walmart together, and we became really good friends. And it came up on my daughter's 16th birthday party, and me and him catered the food, done the food for the birthday party. Well, then we done his wife's birthday party, which pretty much the same people showed up to both events. And it just kind of snowballed from there. People at church and family and friends started asking us to do things. And 
we ended up opening, getting a small location to do catering. And then people around in the neighborhood in the business area where we were wanted us to open and serve food daily. And there again, like I said, it just snowballed from there to the bigger restaurant. And then we went from that to where we have a deli and ice cream shop and espresso bar and all that across the street from the cafe here. That's really cool that you have both of those now. The overall vibe of the restaurant is it's friendly. Uh, the staff are very outgoing. Um, it's local people. It's just, it's a nice place to come and have, have breakfast or lunch. Very nice. Let me try this, because this is going to be new for me right here, <laughs> OK? So I told y'all this is going to get messy. No jalapenos this time. No. It's all right. We'll, we'll add them next time. Okay. Now you got me wanting jalapenos. Talk about them so, <laughs> talk about them so much. All right, listen, I like smashed it down, OK? I'm starting okay. to learn how to do this with okay. burgers. I got barbecue sauce coming out. All right, I'm gonna take a bite out of this. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Okay. Two dads, everyone, two dads. Let's end it on this note. What a spot Two Dads is right here in Kingsport, Tennessee. I'll tell y'all what, when you come to eat here, you will feel like you are at home. Everyone is so friendly and the food is excellent. They truly are one of America's best restaurants. And for the ABR Roadshow, I'm Danielle DeTomo. See y'all next time.